hello guys welcome back to another video today i will show you how to update the firmware of x12 let's go ahead and click the link and it's gonna take you to dropbox it says 512 megabytes but when you try to download it's about 1.9 gigabytes continue without after you download you can see it's about 1.9 gigabytes let's continue it says format the USB disk and this is the USB and then we're gonna download it I already downloaded there and then we're gonna connect it right now I inserted the USB and I'm gonna go ahead and format quick format and okay it's already completed close let me open it again usb and then i will go ahead and copy this is the file i put it over there and wait you're just gonna insert it nothing else then clear all memory data and format then press click installation press installation uh, it's gonna take seven minutes and then you will remove it then you can go ahead and check it out make sure you got the right one first of all you already put uh, installation files upgrade files uh, you can find it in the description below first of all we're gonna put it inside but before we do that we need to go ahead and look at the version first about in Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look at that. Okay, don't forget that. Let's go ahead and insert it. Then you're gonna see the alert. Now it's processing the USBs over there. I'm gonna clear everything and installation it's gonna take a while make sure you're not touching anything i mean if you're touching or if you're turning off or uh, if you're taking out the usb uh, your radio is gonna be break and it's gonna be trash there is no going back right there it's processing right now again don't touch anything it's been almost five minutes uh, let me tell you something some people out there are trying to upgrade their android radio first of all i need to tell you like if there is no problem with the radio don't update it because it's very risky when you try to update it when you touch anything usb or uh, the car is turned off that means everything is gonna go bad you can break your radio and that's it there is no solution for that also some other people are trying to find the upgrade file uh, from the internet and then they are trying to update it with that it's not even for your radio don't try to update it because everything is different for example mine is uh, the screen size and the buttons are different screen sizes are different that means you have specific upgrade files for your radio for your specific radio Especially when you buy Android radio, uh, make sure the company is good. Make sure they're going to give you service because when you buy the radio, basically you're going to use it maybe three years, four years, maybe 10 years. I mean, you can see um, there are a lot of radios 
head units out there it's just like it is very cheap maybe a hundred dollars this one is a little bit uh expensive i know but their customer service uh is good whenever there is a problem i can talk to them and then it says please remove the usb okay i removed it and then uh they are giving me all the files that i need again they are saying the same thing if it's not emergency if your radio is uh working properly don't update it that's why i'm telling you the same thing uh if you don't need it don't update it yeah installation took about seven minutes and right now it is trying to uh, turn on I'm recording it because I don't want to miss any steps now it's coming yep it's upgraded already this is for the car play let's see i'm gonna go to device and now you can see 2023 one twenty two seven one one two zero MCU and Android It's flawlessly working. Car info. Let me try to locate it. All right. I think everything is good. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And see you next video.